Welcome to Cold Freedom. This is your host, Eddie Bales, and this is episode 234. And I'm excited because we're going to talk about how we can use ChatGPT to get closer to freedom in every area of your life, by the way. And so let's jump right in. And you may be thinking, yeah, I've, I've been hearing about ChatGPT. I'm actually kind of tired of it. And some of you guys, you may be hearing about this for the first time, but stick with us because I think you'll find some of the ideas that we'll share to be very fascinating. But, um, you know, one of the things that a lot of people might ask is what's different from what's the difference between ChatGPT and things like Google, right? Usually when we, when we want to know something, we go to Google, right? Well, I would say one of the differences is that if you Google something, for the most part, it's going to give you broad and general information. And you got to click on links and go down a rabbit hole to find some of the things that you want, right? But with ChatGPT, it, it will customize based on you, based on the questions you've asked in the past, based on, by the way, you want to ask it detailed questions, you know, because it, it's going to almost act as if it was a person giving you information. And it's gonna really give you certain nuances that Google wouldn't give you. So from that perspective, it's really, really helpful. You know, and you can use this tool for so many different things. Like for instance, you can use it in your marriage, you can use it in your health, you can use it uh, for building your business, you can use it for all kind of stuff. Now, you don't wanna ask it opinionated questions because ChatGPT is not going to give you any opinionated answers. So don't ask it questions like, is God real or anything like that? That's something you want to, you know, discover on your own and obviously, you know, discover by seeking, you know, God out. However, if you ask it certain questions like, help me to create a, uh, a Facebook post that will give lots of engagement around this topic, right? It's going to give you some really good ideas and it's going to write it out as if it was a person. And so that can be very helpful. Of course, you want to take that element of, of information and you want to make it your own. You want to put yourself into it, sprinkle yourself into it, but use the information to help you create whatever it is you're looking to create. Maybe you might ask it, hey, what are some great date night ideas? Right now, now, you might ask Google that, but but maybe with ChatGPT you may say, "Hey, what are some great date night ideas for my wife or my husband? You know, wh whatever your situation is, um, for a Friday night of being after being married for 12 years or 10 years or five years or however long you've been married." So you just ask it more questions so that I can give you extra elements of information. Maybe you might ask it some health questions, you know, like, hey, what are some great ways to lose weight in the next three weeks? But don't just say lose weight. You want to lose X number of pounds in the next three weeks. So now it's gonna, you're going to give it all this information, or detailed questions that can give you more detailed information and detailed answers. And this can be a phenomenal tool. I'm telling you, see, most people will look at it just as a source of information, but you want to use it as a way to monetize this information. I mean, that's just one element because again, we're talking about every area of freedom, but I, I get more freedom from it. Why? For the descriptions of this podcast lately, you know, and it's been very helpful because sometimes I just don't always know what to say, nor do I want to take the time to figure out what to say. Um, I know what I need to say, but I don't know how to really frame it all together, but it can give me a, a great element of words and ideas and a framework and then I can take that framework and add my own extra stuff into it as well. So it's very helpful. It can save you a lot of time, a lot of money, right? It can save you a lot of energy, right? So the key is that we can use this, 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 this platform, which is free. We can use this to really enhance ourselves. I mean, think about it. Don't get me wrong. We're always going to need the human element of things. For instance, maybe you have a personal trainer. And you use a personal trainer to help you with certain exercises and things like that. And to be there, to be present with you. But what if, you know, you just have to ask a quick question and you don't want to, you know, call your personal trainer and you, you just need an answer to a question right away. What if you could a ask that detailed question and get a detailed answer that could really be helpful and beneficial to you? 
You get what I'm saying? So there's a lot of different ways. And by the way, ChatGPT is not the only platform out there like this. Um, th there's something called Chinchilla that Chinchilla AI that Google has. Um, and there's a lot of other platforms like Canva has a has an AI system built into it and, and other stuff. And some of you guys may be thinking, you know, this is all so new, but really this has been a w around for a while. First off, ChatGPT has been around since 2015. It was founded by five people, and I won't go through all of those people, but one of them is Elon Musk, right? Um, and the CEO is uh, Sam Altman. Now, um, you know, Elon Musk is no longer on the board with them because, you know, he's focusing on, you know, his companies and things. However, um, just know that there are a lot of other different platforms that are embracing this AI model. So it's here to stay. And by the way, we've been using this type of stuff for a long time anyway. It's not anything new. How about Siri? How about Alexa? Right? How about all these different things or Google Voice? Uh, I'm sorry, Google Talk or something like that. Uh, there's all these different um, elements of things that we use that have incorporated this AI model into it. But the thing that I want to emphasize to you is that you use it for your benefit. You use it in your in your every way of life to enhance your life. I want you to start using it and I want you to test it out. I'm not an expert, by the way. I'm still brand new and using it, but I've been enjoying some of the results that I've been getting um, for lots of different things in lots of different areas, you know? So I'll ask it questions about exercises and workouts and diets, and I'll ask it questions about things for relationships and things. I'll ask it all kinds of questions. I may even ask it some Bible questions and see where that goes. I'm testing it out, and I'm just asking, I'm telling you, this would be a good idea for you to test out and see if it could be something. And I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear from our audience. How is it working for you? Maybe you can share some ideas that I hadn't thought of. Um, but I'm telling you, you can use it. Let me give you some ideas of things. You can use it for social media content. You can use it for coding. You can use it to help you build a website. You can help. Now, don't get me wrong. It's not going to build the website for you, but it certainly can give you some work, some keywords, some SEO, search engine optimization stuff. I mean, it could give you all kind of cool stuff to help you to um, not have to do all this research and not have to go from this site to that site and all this other stuff. But you have one centralized location and place where you can just ask all the questions that you need. It saves it. It saves all your questions too. So you can actually go back and see some of the questions that you asked and see. And by the way, here's what's interesting. You may ask the same question twice and it may give you different answers because it's always updating, it's always evolving, it's always getting more information and you may ask it different. As it starts to get to know who you are and the types of questions that you ask, um, it's going to be able to cater some of that to you. So <laughs> there's one lady who, who actually has a name for her chat GPT and she really treats it like it's her secretary or her uh, personal assistant. I may do something like that myself, who knows. Uh, but, but just know that this can be a game changer for all of us if we really start to jump on it. See, remember back in the day when we thought social media was just going to be a little fad? But look, obviously social media is here to stay. And guess what? Some people still haven't taken full advantage of all the benefits you can get from it. So let's not miss this because it's not going anywhere. It's going to be here. It's already been here. This is just a, a, a message to you all to say, hey, Let's let's jump on this. Let's let's find ways to take advantage of this and be creative. There's so many ideas out there that I can give you um, that I'm learning and discovering and and understanding and hearing about. And I'll, I'll have I'll, maybe I'll have some people on the show that can speak to it from a higher level. But just from me using it in my own experience, it's been a game changer. And I'm telling you, we're, we're creating a lot of great things with it. Um, even my wife and I and you'll hear you'll hear more. And we'll share some of those things more in detail as we finish it and, and, and finish creating it. But just know that this is a game changer for a lot of different areas of your life. So chat GPT um, and some of these AIs, let's embrace it. Now, don't get me wrong. Hey, maybe there are some negative sides to it. There's a negative side to everything, right? There's, there's even negative sides to social media. We need to look at all, all the different things to it, but, but certainly... Let, let's let's look at more of the positives 
and 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 focus on the all the good that we can get from it because it can do so many good things for us if we learn how to use it the, one of the biggest things i will say is that i'm learning personally is that you need to ask it the right questions um think of it like a prompter it's going to it can it can answer the questions as good as you can ask the questions. So if you can ask it some detailed questions, or if you could be very specific about what you want, don't just say, I wanna lose weight. Give me some information on how to lose weight. Say, hey, I'd like to lose weight. Um, in the next three weeks, I'd like to lose this many pounds. This is how much I weigh right now. And I'm struggling with some of these things. Right? And then watch the information that just starts to unfold. And so I'm just using that as an example, but again, that you can use it for all different areas of your life and I'm using it for every area that I can. So I hope this has been helpful. This is a short episode, but I hope a, a powerful and impactful one. And hey, drop it in the comments. Don't, don't forget to subscribe to our different channels and things like that. But I would love if you guys tell me how you're using it and how it's helping you with all the things that you guys got going on. So God bless you guys. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you all on the next episode.